10.1 is Explorations with a Transparent Mirror, and the objective is to guide the exploration of reflections of two-dimensional figures. Let's do some mental math and reflexes. What is a third of 16? Hopefully you're remembering that one way that you can figure out this problem is to look at the denominator. How does it become 18? Well, times 6, of course. Where I write the time 6 down here, I do the same thing to the top for my answer. So 1 times 6 is 6. So my answer is 6. A fourth of 36. Again, 4 times 9 is 36. So 1 times 9 is 9. 50% of 40, which is half of 40, is 20. 25 of 60, well that's a fourth of 60. That would be 15. Two-thirds of 36. Well, 3 times 12 is 36, so 2 times 12 is 24. 4 times 12 is 48, so 3 times 12 is 36. 60% of 60. Remember, I can always use that as .60, multiply it by 60, and I come up with 36. So I would think of this as 0.75 times 36. So you're doing 75% of 36 is 27. 3 eighths of 40, again, 8 times 5 is 40, so 3 times 5 is 15. 7 times 3 is 21, so 8 times 3 is 24. 110% of 50. Well, 100% of 50 is 50, and 10% of 50 is 5, so it'd be 100. I'm sorry, 100% of 50 is 50, and 10% of 50 is 5. I'm correct, 55. And 120% of 20. Well, 100% of 20 is 20, and 20% of 20 is 4, so you get 24. With a partner by yourself, take a transparent mirror from your box and then read journal page 274 and experiment with your mirror, mirror. Have fun. Examine the top and bottom edges of the transparent mirror. Notice that one side of one edge is recessed. On some of the transparent mirrors, both edges will have a recessed side. This recessed side can be used as a straight edge. In this lesson, you'll have the opportunity to explore with transparent mirrors. Draw a squiggle on a sheet of paper and then place that transparent mirror so that the squiggle is between the mirror and your eyes. Now look through that mirror. What you see when you look through that transparent mirror should be that another squiggle that is the same size and shape is there as the original squiggle. The original squiggle is known as the pre-image. The squiggle on the other side of the transparent mirror is called the image of the original squiggle. The image and the pre-image are congruent. Congruent figures have the same size and shape. Two figures are congruent if they match exactly when one is placed on top of the other after combinations of slides, flips, and or turns. Remember, the prefix pre means before. So the pre-image is the image before it has been reflected in the transparent mirror. Think of other words that we've discussed. Prehistoric, preview, and preschool. Now move that transparent around and observe what happens to the image of the squiggle. Move small objects around on your desks. Now do math master, math Masters, page 304. This is just supposed to give you extra practice moving the B around the page. Now use your transparent mirrors to move a hat and a nose and a mouth to the appropriate places on the clown's face. With each part, as seen through the mirror, it is in its desired place. You should trace it to complete the picture. You can color it if you would like. go to your math journal and look at page 275, complete it, and go up to the front of the room and check your answers. And for the last thing, do 10-1 study link.